So the first thing you're going to want to do is grab your pattern. I'm trying to find the middle point of this particular t-shirt. I'm going to fold it in half. I'm going to place my diaper pattern on the fold. And I'm going to take my marker and I'm going to trace it but I'm not going to follow it completely. Since this is going to be a tie diaper, I'm going to make the tabs a lot longer. I'm going to follow the t-shirt all the way down through the sleeves so that the ties are long enough to completely tie the diaper. And then I'm going to cut it out. After you finished cutting it out, you should have two separate pieces, one for the front and one for the back, or one for the inside of the diaper and one for the outside of the diaper. Now I'm going to make the soaker portion of the diaper. I just grabbed this old um, flannel receiving blanket. It's already partially been cut up. And this is what I'm going to use for my soakers. Now you can use old towels, you can use um, cut up t-shirts, anything that's cotton and absorbent, um, you're welcome to use it. So now I've taken my large soaker pattern and I have placed that on the fold up at the top of the receiving blanket. So now when I go to cut it, I'm not going to cut the top portion. I'm going to cut all the way around it. That way it'll be twice as long. And I will show you why I'm doing it this way in just a moment. Now you can see as I open it up, it's one long piece. I'm going to set that to the side and I'm going to do one more. Make sure my flannel is nice and flat. I'm going to place my soaker pattern and I'm going to trace around it again. And I'm going to, after I cut this one out, I'm going to make one more. Okay, so now I have my three long soaker pieces cut out. Normally I would only do two, but since flannel is a little on the thin side, I decided to do three. I'm going to place them all together, and now I'm going to go search them. Okay, so I searched all the way around, and then I sewed half of it down onto the inner part of the diaper and I left the other half as um, a sort of flap. This will um, give you good absorbency but it won't take a super long time for the soakers to dry. Uh, there's tons of different ways that you can do this. This is not the only way. So now I'm taking the back 
part of the diaper, the outer part of the diaper, and I'm lining it up on top of the inner portion of the diaper. And once I get that all lined up, I'm going to go and sew all the way around the diaper. Okay, so I have my entire diaper sewn all the way around. I left a small opening at the end and now I'm going to reach in and turn it all right side in. I'm going to go ahead and pull that pin out so that it doesn't poke me and that will be, once I get this long soaker piece out, the flat portion, it'll be easier to turn the rest of the diaper. Okay, the diaper is completely turned the right way. So if you do not have elastic, you can just sew up the hole at the top and you can be done. For demonstration purposes of this video, I'm going to go ahead and add the casings and the elastic. Okay, so now I have elastic in the legs and in the back of my diaper. Now what I did for this particular diaper is I've poked or cut four small slits along the front belly panel. And this is how you would put the diaper on. Go in through the first hole, out through the second, pull it snug, and then do the same with the other side. Pull it snug, and then you can tie it. And then you have, don't have to worry about snaps or Velcro or safety pins or any of those other options. And that is it. After you're done, you have successfully made a diaper using only items around your house. Now I'm going to show you real quick how to make a side tie diaper if you would prefer that instead of the front tie diaper. Basically you would just make both the front belly panel and the back tabs long.